mara uwe kwa kupika inaiva haraka sana then iko iko na katisti kengine kama ile ya yellow bean kama ushawahi kula yellow bean iko na katisti kengine akakai kama hii ya zingine kama jataama muetemania hiyo hii iko na katisti kengine kazuri sana huko ndani unasikia ni kama ulikuwa umeweka hiyo chakula tu nyama ukatoa lakini <laughs> na inaiva haraka hii nyota imekuja juicy kupanda tukaona naye the same category like wa limo dwarf kana kuwa mzuri ni kazuri hata ukukula na kana kana kuwa haraka na haitaki maji mingi sana hivyo so kama tungekuwa na sort of water pan yes yeah, atusaidia na tulime tuchibe na mtu apate kitu kidogo juu ukikuwa uki, ukifuna utauzia neighbors na unaona ukiala kija na kuna wewe utapata ka kitu kabla wengine washanuke wewe umepata ka kitu Therefore, hii area one ni msuri sana na maharagwe. Jo hata kabla hii case up kuja mimi nilikuwa nalima maharagwe. Kuna ile maharagwe ya Mwetemania ilikuwa inafanya hapa mzuri sana. Na still nilikuwa napanda kama 2 acres 3 acres. Na ilikuwa ina do well. It was a kaikuwa na, na drought. Na mvua ilikuwa inanyesha mzuri. Kwa hivyo ilikuwa inafanya mzuri na hata nilikuwa ina nifanya ni, ni, ni someshe watoto beans are highly consumed and they are very versatile very cheap and they they are easily available compared to the other things and uh, we find that it's it's a more sustainable way of addressing this issue of micronutrient malnutrition the iron and zinc and we actually actually call it hidden hunger because you can be full you vitamin you're full but you still are hungry because you don't have the iron and zinc and uh, why we are concerned about iron and zinc is because as i said it also contributes to the issue of stunting which is at 26% in this country imagine about a third of the population being stunted our children and it's not just affecting their physical stature but also cognitive development they will not grow to be as bright as they should be their iq levels go down by around 11% we need to be worried about that and when they grow to be adults they will earn like even 22% less income compared to their other adults and we are talking about developing as a country we cannot develop until we address this issue of stunting so that is where we looked at it we were like let's try and contribute to alleviating stunting by using this food vehicle which is available everywhere because i know every household consumes beans So that is where we came up with these beans which are high in iron and zinc to try and make sure that we use this to address this problem okay and then we have realized that not many people are aware of these beans when we talk about iron and beans and, and zinc it's not just one particular bean there are many beans which have been developed which have we are, which are high in iron and zinc a good example is nyota which is very well known it has been here for quite some time and you can get this one from Caldro Katumani and uh, also i'm sure that um, it's coming slowly to the agrovets we have other beans also which are high in iron and zinc we have angaza we have faida university of nairobi is busy trying to make these beans we have kenya cheupe kenya madini and many others so i'm sure with time we are hoping that we'll flood this country with beans which are high in iron and zinc so that we have a healthier population uh, the bee that you are promoting is high in zinc and iron So in this field day we want to train farmers how to come up with good production per unit area for them to have some reserves for the family and also for economics or for sale after the production As I've told you the main challenge here is uh, the climate change previously we even used to grow high altitude crops but we've scaled down to dryland crops The other challenge is uh, the invasion by pests that are from the lowlands to the highlands Uh, aphids and white flies is a major issue and also blight because of the high down or temperature ranges within our zone so that is what we are trying to solve within this field day that we are holding look at kenya and compare its production of beans to the rest of the world we are actually the seventh largest producer and the second in africa yeah and um, i think the first one is um, is 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 rwanda yeah then we come in second then when it comes to the amount of beans we are consuming We are consuming about 700,000 metric tons. But what we are producing is 600. So we have a deficit here. So we are asking ourselves how can we cover this deficit? So if we encourage people to consume more beans, 
then we are likely to cover these deficits. And the, apart from even eating the beans, we'll be able to even make farmers receive, get money from this. Because it's not just enough to eat the beans, but you have to buy other things. So you need the money, okay? But even as they do the money, we're also telling them, please don't sell everything. Leave something for your family. Because you need to make sure that your family is well nourished for them to be work, able to work in that farm and produce those, those beans and other produce that you want to produce.